Hello guys, I am Flash Isaac. Today I'll be taking you through calculations in economics under average product, uh, total product and marginal product. These are the theory of production and the things we need to know before we are able to solve questions under AP, TP and MP. Uh, look at this typical question. It said uh, from the table, find J, K and F. Now, this table is uh, shows uh, components of the theory of production and these are the units of labor 1, 2, 3, 4 then this is TP, total product, average product and marginal product we are asked to find J, K and F obviously J is the average product that will be here then K is the total product that is supposed to be here while F is the marginal product that should be here now having known that we have our formulas here for total product, average product, and marginal product. Now, to solve for K or J or F, we apply the formulas. Now, let's start with total product. Remember that total product TP is equals AP times L. Now, from this, total product is what we are looking for. So, TP is equals now the average product is the average product here which is 9 times labor the labor that corresponds to this so so the corresponding labor is 3 so total product is simply 9 times 3 which is 27 so therefore k is equals 27 we've gotten that now let's do for j the, uh, ap average product is equals total product over labor TP over L and for this row total product is 14 and L which is labor is 2 so 14 over 2 is equals 7 so AP is the same thing as K here so therefore K is equals 7 we've solved that marginal product is change in TP over change in labor what does that mean? this will be marginal product is equals change in tp is if i say change it means before and now before and now you get the gist so change in tp should simply be this uh, this minus this that's change in tp tp when labor is 4 minus tp when labor is 3 so that's change in total product so this will be 40 minus k which is 27 40 minus 27 over change in labor is simply this labor minus this labor. So 4 minus 3 will be here. So this minus this and this minus this. So change in TP over change in labor. So uh, this will give you uh, 4 minus 3 is 1. So that one is easy. Uh, 40 minus, what is it called? 40 minus 27. Should give you 13 i guess so this should give you 13 so mp is equals 13 so that is the answer product is j so this is j so marginal product is f so instead of k you put 27 instead of j you put 7 uh, instead of f you put 13 so that's that. Okay, now look at this question, question two. So this is pretty similar to the one we just solved. Now look at it. Labor, TP, and AP. They say we should find E and F. And E is obviously total product. A Y F is obviously the marginal product. So they gave us the complete average product. So what do we do? Total product at labor is equals degree is equals average product times L. So average product here that corresponds to this is 9. So this is simply 9 times uh, labor is 3. So 9 times 3 is equals 27. So that's the total product 27. So you redraw the table, put E. E is equals 27. Next up is uh, marginal product at F. So like I told you before, marginal product MP is simply changing total product over change in labor. 
marginal product here is equal to change in total product. This implies that we are solving for here. So this minus this over this minus this. So 28 minus E. So here we solve E. E is what? 27. So 28 minus 27 all over. Look at the label, uh, change in label. Label here minus label here. So that's 4 minus 3. So this will give you 1 over 1. So that's 1. So F is equals 1. So that's that. I came across a question on a uh, theory of production in which the table was sometimes uh, was somehow complex and you can't apply this formula to get the total product. So in that case, there's another formula you can use to get total product. So I'll bring out the question and I'll solve it so that you know the various ways you can get total product. But average and marginal product we're gotten through the same method. So take a look at the question. We're giving a unit of land. So land is fixed in nature, so it doesn't change. So that's the units of land and tons of fertilizer. 0 to 9. That's the tons of fertilizer. And that's the input, obviously, which will be your L input. Then total products. These are the total products. And we're not giving total product when uh, fertilizer was 4, 4 tons, 5 tons, and 6 tons. So we're not giving the total products. Those are the things we are looking for. Um, marginal products. We are not giving marginal products at 7 tons, 8 tons, and 9 tons. These are D, E, F. And we are not giving the average product as 1, 2, 3 tons. So this question requires us to look for A, B, C, D, E, F, H, I, J. It can be any value or they can put dash. So the bottom line is we are looking for these values. Now, recall that T, P is equals AP times L. Now look at it. Average product at total product is equals A, which we are looking for now. Average product isn't given. So we cannot use this formula. So there's another formula I discovered. So this is what I wrote here. TPB is equals TPA. Let me bring it out. TPB is equals T. T A plus M P B. When I say B and A, it doesn't mean all these ones. So okay, let me put Y S Y. So this will make you understand better. So now solving for this T P A, we don't have now equals T P S. T P S is the total product before this one so total product before this one is one five plus marginal product y so that is the marginal product corresponding to this total product why why they are the same why this one is one step below so marginal product here is 400 so this one they are the same why total product s is the one above it so plus 400 so that is the formula so if you don't understand the, uh, the way i put the formula you can use your wisdom or before i solve b and c you understand so this will give you 1900 zero, zero. so a is equals 1900 zero, zero. now solving for b look at it you get it now for b it's like this tp for b is equals TP above, that means the TP above P is A. So that means this one nine. One nine plus MP, the same MP with this B. So you see, so the MP that is corresponding to this B is 250. So 250. So this will give you a 0, 5, 1, 2. So that should be 2150. Now for C, so this is the last one I'm solving under TP. This will make you understand very well. So TP for C is equals the TP before C. That's TP for B. That's uh, 2150 plus 
the MP that is corresponding to this C, 125. 125. So this will give you 5, 7, 2, 2. So this is C and this is B. For the over this minus this this input minus this that's d all right thanks for watching i don't fit to take out my other video